Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Um, sorry for the uh, quality of uh, my voice right now. I don't have my mic with me as I'm in my office, and uh, I'm just uh, going through the process of updating my phone to uh, iOS 5. Uh, right now, my phone is actually syncing, as you can see here, sync in progress. It's syncing with iTunes to transferring all my purchases because I haven't done that in a while. So that's probably going to take a little bit. Uh, I've already downloaded iOS 5. And uh, so it's transferring my purchases right now. And then it's going to update. Um, as you can see right here, I have my little iPhone guy right there. And a newer version of the iPhone software is available. Let me turn the shutter speed so you can see this better. New version of the iPhone software is available, version 5.0. To update your iPhone, click update. Bam, and I clicked that and it said, oh, sorry, you need to transfer your purchases. So I'm transferring my purchases right now. Um, but uh, immediately following my iPhone, I will be doing my iPad as well because uh, iOS 5 is cool. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna post a video about this too uh, as soon as I get updated. But let me just say that Google, you got jacked, fool, because Apple totally jacked Google's notification bar, like straight up. Um, I my, one of my friends here already has iOS five on there. Um, he he just installed it, and Google got jacked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they just straight got their admin or not their admin, their notification bar jacked. Okay, so. It finished transferring, so let's see. Here we go. Watch the mouse. Oh. Update. All right, so now it's saying, updating iOS 5 will back up and restore the apps, media, contacts, calendars, text message, and settings to your iPhone. It better freaking back it up and restore it. I'm gonna be pissed at Apple. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on update. Bam. All right, so see here oh software agreement you know whatever nobody reads these things do they all right and agree and it is oh I lied I thought it was downloaded but it looks like it's not nine minutes remaining okay so um, pause this now I'm gonna stop this video I'll come back in nine minutes what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wait for this to download right now. It's downloading, as you can see, downloading nine ten minutes. The internet connection is slow here. It's a wireless and whatever. Uh, ironic, right? Um, so I'm gonna download this and then I'm just gonna show you how it works and how it goes through the process of installing on your iPhone. And keep in mind, you guys, you have to have uh, iTunes 10.5 installed. If you go over here, and you go to about iTunes, and then as you can see, iTunes 10, iTunes 10 point, oh, where'd you go, Fuck. come on, oh, whatever, it went away on me, but iTunes 10.5 must be installed for this to work, so make sure you uh, install iTunes 10.5, here's my beautiful iPhone, well, it's a stock picture of an iPhone, but it's still beautiful, and I'm gonna come back to you guys when this installs, and we will go through the steps of this installing, so cool, there's the iPhone, iPhone logo, cool. All right, guys, so uh, it's syncing right now, and it is, uh, as you can see here, backing up Dom's iPhone. So it's backing up my phone, and it's syncing it, and pretty soon I should have iOS 5. So as soon as it's installed, we'll go ahead and walk through it. All right, so now we have extracting software. Um, it's extracting the software for iOS 5 and let's see what happens alright guys um, so I got it installed and here is iOS 5 I don't know if you've if you guys haven't seen it yet and this will be your first look let me turn on autofocus hold on and alright so look at this notification bar look at that look at that what is this oh oh would you like to have weather from your current location oh, okay all right thank you thank you iOS 5 and it's gonna put it right up here at the top and stuff it's got a little ticker right there your calendar 
Straight up. Look at that Android. They just jacked Android. That's so funny. Uh, it just loaded all my apps. Uh, hold on. It just uh, it just restored all my apps on here, which is cool. Um, it's loading up everything. I, ha I ran into a little bit of a problem, uh, but I got that figured out. If it gives you an error when you're trying to update your iPhone, you guys, uh, best thing that you can do is go on iTunes and go to Restore and click on Update and Restore, and it will actually update your it'll it'll restore 4.2.10 or whatever you had to your phone and then it will update it and that's how I was able to get it to work um, so as you can see I pretty much have everything here um, all my app folders are loading up DOM stuff games business web cam apps you know um, my bookmark for my cheap uh, Zoom ones that I want to buy. Um, pretty much everything loaded up, uh, and it's pretty good. And on the here, you can see that I'm not just feeding you guys crap. And you can see on iTunes, we have software version 5.0 right there. And there's the new picture of the iPhone 4S. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I just have the iPhone 4. But it looks like everything updated, and it's good to go. And I hope this guy, I hope this makes you happy, you guys. Let me flip up my ISO real quick. So here we go, iOS 5. Oh, another thing cool that uh, you guys should take note of here is uh, if you're right here on the home screen and you double-click your button, it'll give you a camera button. And you can press the camera, and it'll go straight to the camera app from the lock screen. And then once you get out of there, well, it's back in the regular. Never mind. That wasn't super exciting. But notification bar, for me, this notification bar is huge. Um, this is, like, the best thing about uh, iOS 5. I'll be putting up a little review about it, too, eventually. So um, thanks, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Go check out the website. And... Uh, I hope this gives you guys a little more confidence. Thanks.